What's going on guys? Today we're at Vital Energy Motorsports working with Suma Performance. Today we're going to be installing their uh, non-glare mirrors with a turn signal built into it. We're also going to be doing their sequential smoked mirror turn signals as well. Stay tuned, we're going to show you how to do it. Alright guys, so step one is going to be removing the OEM mirror cap. To do that, you just grab on the edge corner here where it sticks up from there, give it a pull. You'll hear some cracks. Don't worry about it. It'll pop off like so. You'll see nothing's broken. It just makes a lot of noise to scare you. Uh, from there, it'll kind of expose everything that we need. So from here, you're gonna have a couple different clips to try and get out to release the mirror. And also the wires that we're gonna have to plug into the new turn signal as well. So first thing I'll do is I'll unplug this turn signal, get it disconnected. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver. You got two Phillips screws here. Once you get that, this will just come off. This guy will just slide out. Put the new one in, plug it in, that's done. Um, let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so next you've got this little pinch clip here. So go ahead and pinch that to release the little plastic turn signal here from the mirror itself. And it might take a couple tries. There we go. From there, you should just be able to pull this guy up and out and that's done. All right, once you have the old mirror turn signals off, you're gonna want to plug the new ones in since it's built into it here, just like so. Once that's done, Go ahead and slide this into its spot. Make sure that this bottom doesn't have the foam showing. You press it in like so, and then line up these clips. And just like that, that's done, and it should be like that. Maybe do it like this. All right, so once you get these four little clips off of here, everything should come off. Remove these two little pins, that's for the defrosters, and then plug them into the new ones. So now we're just gonna screw these, uh, these turn signals back in, just to keep them secure, because we are gonna have to splice just a couple of wires, and you don't wanna make these too tight, because it is screwing in the plastic, so you don't wanna strip them out. All right guys, if you go with the same option that I did, I got the one with the turn signal built into the mirror, so you'll have these two extra wires. It'll come with a long enough wire for you to make as long as you want. Um, all you're gonna do is cut this to the length you, you want and then splice it into the sequential turn signal here to give it power. So what we're doing is connecting the black and white wire running from the mirror itself to the white wire that runs to the sequential turn signal here to give the mirror power. All right, now the last thing you gotta do is just line up those clips inside the mirror, give it a good press to clip it back into place, do it a couple times to make sure all four clips are all the way in. All right guys, last step is to pop the mirror cap back on top. So you're just gonna line it up. All right guys, we just finished installing our Suma Performance anti-glare mirrors with turn signal built in, as well as our sequential turn signal signals that are smoked. Um, first impressions are these things are nuts. So not only are they anti-glare, but two, they widen your field of view so much. Normally when we go off-road, we have to angle our mirrors down so we can see our rear tires, make sure they're not gonna hit anything, any objects, rocks, stumps, anything like that. With these, you can just leave them basically where they're at and you can see the whole side of the truck, you can see the whole rear wheel and tire, um, and the built-in turn signal is different and cool and I like it a lot. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend you get a set. 